Hi, everyone. In this video, we're going to cover account management as well as how core employers can start getting started on Handshake, as well as what the branding page for core users look like. So currently, I am in the teammates page of a core employer. I got here by clicking on the top right under the name and clicking on teammates. Now I can see that for this company, there are different roles that the recruiters and that the people on this account have. Now these roles here are recruiter, representative, owner, administrator, hiring manager, ambassador, and student ambassador. There is a role-based access sheet that will be included below this video to explain what the different roles are, as well as the abilities of these different roles. However, what's important to note is that for, for these employers, there will be one owner who basically can control the different people getting permission under the account. What that means is that the owner of this account would approve anybody requesting access to join this account. In functionality, what this means is if I am the owner of the Handshake company page and you requested access to Handshake's company page, I would be able to approve you as a recruiter before you would be able to do anything in this company page. The importance of this is keeping security and validity for each company so that they don't have any rogue employees or any people pretending to be them and represent their company through Handshake. Another thing that can happen here is that the Handshake system can recognize the syntax of email addresses and then map individuals to that account. So for example, if somebody signs up with an at dropbox.com email address, it would recognize that that person was from Dropbox and it would say request Dropbox. In that scenario, the owner would still have to go in and approve that person as a user. Now, many employers choose to simply copy an invite link or invite a teammate manually. So if a new teammate has joined the team, they can use these two options at the top to invite them to join. Moving ahead to a company branding page, you can see here that if I click on company profile, I'm now able to see what a core branding page can look like. So the first couple things that you'll see here are a cover image, the reviews and interviews. Now this is sort of our glass door type functionality where students can review what it's like to work for an employer what they liked, what they wish was different, and advice. And you can see here that people can find this review helpful. Now, since implementing reviews about two years ago, we've received over 100,000 reviews written by students. Along the same lines, people and students can put in interview questions that they saw during the interview process. When I come back to the overview page here, core employers have an ability to put an about section on here, questions and answers, and then to be able to see the upcoming career fairs. There's also this ability to see jobs that they have available. Now there's a lot of limitations with this core page that we'll get into when we see, but see the premium page. But the most drastic of all is that there's no ability to post uh, photos and multimedia. And this is a static stagnant page. What we'll see in the next couple of videos with the premium page is that it's actually dynamic based on the student viewing it to be and seem more relevant to that company. Now, the last thing we're gonna cover here is how a company would be able to get set up on Handshake and the basic details of setting this account up. Only the owner is able to change these things 
And you can see here, there's the name, the industry, the websites, different contact information, the description of the company, what people want, the, uh, the LinkedIn, the social networks to connect with, the location, the institution size, and even the time zone. And here's where they could put their logo and the banner. So in this video, we saw different account access types. We saw what a core branding page looks like. And at the end here, we saw how to get set up using the Handshake Basics.